This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. Today, we're introducing three revolutionary products. An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. Steve Jobs goes to Macworld and he, he pulls out this iPhone. What was your first reaction when you saw that? <laughs> $500? It's one of the most talked about new releases in years, and people across this nation have been lined up for days. But can the iPhone live up to the hype? The hype of this iPhone has been over the top as thousands scramble to get their mitts on this iPod that works like a cell phone and a web browser. In the 16 years I have been reviewing tech products, I cannot remember uh, any product having this kind of uh, hype and high expectations surrounding it. Analysts, even those who swear they haven't been drinking the Apple Kool-Aid, seem to think the iPhone, like the iPod, will be a blockbuster. Uh, we really believe that, that a device like this, which is you know, an order of magnitude more powerful than, than any mobile device or any cell phone that's ever been created, and yet vastly easier to use, is the future. I think we're going to hit a grand slam with this. On June 29th, 2007, thousands upon thousands of people, after waiting in lines and mobs for hours, days, even weeks, finally got their hands on the iPhone, the single most hyped piece of technology that anyone had ever seen. A device simply unlike any other. A device that would change the world forever. A decade ago today, we were all introduced to this revolutionary touchscreen device that was laughably expensive and had an embarrassingly small amount of storage with a god-awful camera that couldn't even record video and internet capabilities on the Edge network. Apple took a chance and entered a market most people figured they could never succeed in. Critics never even gave the iPhone a chance, saying it couldn't possibly even compete in the business world, let alone succeed, and that general consumers would never spend so much money on a product that basically didn't even have any buttons. But Steve Jobs and his team saw things differently. He envisioned a world where people were constantly connected with one another through their phones. He saw a device that seemingly had endless possibilities, that was more powerful and more capable than anything before. And now, 10 years later, the iPhone's influence on the technology market as a whole is indisputable. It changed how we interact with one another, it influenced the entire direction of the smartphone industry, and created new markets, new brands, new companies, that are now larger than life, and ignited a boom bigger than the dot-com bubble from the early 2000s. We aren't living in a boom or a bubble now though. We're living in a world where we pinch to zoom, where the internet is completely mobile at our fingertips in an instant, where we can constantly communicate and stay connected, know the weather, read the news, experience anything and everything we can imagine from a device that fits in our pockets. The iPhone will go down in history as one of the most influential products of all time, something that has has truly shaped the world. I got my original iPhone, the one you see here, in October of 2007. When Steve Jobs stepped on stage and introduced it, when he flicked his finger for the first time to show how scrolling worked, when he said that you could have the entire internet in your pocket, I knew that I had to have it. It shaped my childhood, and now, 10 years later, I feel even more sentimental about it. The iPhone was, and still is, a revolutionary product, and the world simply has not been the same since. Happy 10th birthday, iPhone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of different style of video. I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to take a look back and reminisce about the first iPhone. And yes, I still have mine with the box and all the accessories. Let me know where you were when the first iPhone launched 10 years ago. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later.